Thank you, administration. Now, principals. Good evening. Since the last board meeting, uh, we had parent-teacher conferences, and I'm happy to say at Evergreen, we have 100% uh, parent participation. Not all of them took place necessarily on the conference night, uh, but whether they were held before, after, or during, we had 100% of our students represented by their parents. Now, today was the first day of the Title I preschool, and heads off to uh, Jean Keith. Easy. Uh, I also would like to thank uh, Kathy for, for her help in getting uh, it up and started. We have 14 youngsters uh, here this morning in a very lively room, uh, in a very productive room. Uh, along those lines, uh, as we were working through some of the managerial things of getting uh, kids to the right places, I really would like to extend my thanks to Courtney Labrizi and Deb Zagorski. Courtney is the early childhood teacher and Deb is the early childhood aid, and completely unsolicited, they offered their help in making certain that the children got to the right places at the right times, and they all did, they were all accountable. So I'm grateful for that. Uh, at, at Evergreen, we also uh, did our data uh, days where we gathered teachers at grade levels and reviewed the data that uh, the students have, uh, have obtained throughout last year and this year. Mike Rosenditch, our school psychologist, does an excellent job of really uh, interpreting that data for our classroom teachers. Uh, Rana Fries, our math interventionist, and Jackie Inson, our reading teacher here at Evergreen, do an excellent job of collecting that data for Mike to interpret for teachers. Chris Agin and Kelly McKenzie, two of our special ed teachers, were involved in that, uh, along uh, with Jeannie Moran, as Sandy had mentioned, to really offer the, the most productive interventions for these students so that we can meet their needs. Along those lines, we, we have had a number of 504 meetings over the course of the beginning of the year. Uh, Renee Sutterstrom and Julie Volkley, our two counselors serving our building, have done an excellent job of setting those up and putting in place plans for student success. Uh, in the area of technology, as Mr. Heath alluded to, Hats off to Rachel Harmley, who's worked with Sarah Sheffy in setting up our 21st Century uh, Committee here at Evergreen. I can tell you that Rachel, along with Sarah Eggers, Brenda Pendleton, and Nikki Kravchuk will be attending uh, the in-service or conference that's held up in the Dells. I believe it starts on December 7th, 8th and 9th. Uh, and they are going with the expectation of bringing back some strategies to be implemented quickly and effectively here at Evergreen. Also our kindergarten uh, teacher, uh, Sarah Eggers, along with our two first grade teachers, Donna Colian and Ann Nicholas, uh, administered the PALS uh, assessment. They did it effectively, efficiently, and timely. Uh, all the data is, is where it needs to be for us to utilize for students. And Mr. Yoke uh, had mentioned the bench dedication, and I'd like to echo his sentiment that Mrs. Stott did a very nice job uh, of helping with that. And the sixth grade students that uh, really pushed forward on this uh, dedication should be commended as well. And my last thing is we've started something uh, about two weeks ago. We had invited kindergarten and first grade parents uh, to come for an informal gathering of coffee and donuts uh, for a short period of time after the students started their day. And uh, it, was, it was really nice. We had about five or six parents come and we sat around and had coffee, donuts, and uh, they asked questions about how they can become more involved in our learning community, uh, how they can volunteer their support. I uh, had questions about recreation programming, those types of things, and we were able to really have a nice informal discussion about that to build up on our learning community. Uh, tomorrow, it's uh, coffee with second and third grade parents, so the invitation's out there. And, uh, we're hoping that this, uh, again, will promote the need for community involvement in, in our students' education. Any questions? Three groups tonight I, I just want to recognize for some of the things they've been working on. Um, one of them is the first grade group. Uh, every year at this time, or around this time, they do a, a farmer's unit, and they learn all about the uh, 
um, occupation and um, work of farmers and uh, being a farmer girl. I just love that unit, especially so. Just, uh, but it's uh, dear to my heart. But I just want to recognize them not for the unit that they do, but for the work that they do within the unit. Is um, they're working with a library media specialist to do um, research, and it's just really great to see first graders doing research where they're going into a book, and she um, the librarian teaches them. They did research procedures and then they put together a PowerPoint um, for the unit. And it's very well done and they work together and uh, sometimes they work with their reading buddy to help them do some of the work. So that's a very special unit and the kids work hard. So I appreciate the work that the teachers are doing to make that happen. And then in fifth grade, I wanted to recognize them for they do a unit on biographies and then they uh, culminate with a biography batch so each student, and if some of you have been a part of that, uh, have you been a part of that in the past? <laughs> um, where uh, the student will write about someone very special in their life, and they'll do research about them, do interviews, and then they'll also look at the time era of the person that they're talking about, and they'll look at that up, and then on one of the days, they'll invite all of the people in who they've written a biography for, so we have a full house on that day with people who come in. So, um, they put a lot of time and work into it, so I appreciate that from the, the teachers. And then lastly, I want to recognize that the music staff for this month, uh, just the hard work that they do within the next uh, probably um, 15 days of school prior to the concert, but there's so much behind the scenes and the work with the students. They're giving up their lunch time to Joanne. Um, the extra practices of staying late, uh, she's one of them here, and uh, Barb um, Canales, and uh, Kristen Brownhart with the orchestra, Emily Brown with the extra lessons. So during the lunch time that they have, there's all sorts of students in there, so I just want to say thank you for their work. So those are three groups I recognize today. Questions? 